In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the skew, distort, and perspective options in the transform. So if you hit Command T to bring up your transform controls and then right click over it, it gives you those options. So if you pick skew first and then click on a corner and move it around, you can see what that does. It's got some fun things going on there. Hit Enter, and then Command Z to undo. Command T to bring your transform tools back up. We'll take a look at Distort. So if I click on one of these boxes and move it around, it lets me have a lot more control than Skew did of where that one corner is going. It's not trying to pop me into a certain angle and make everything behave the way it wanted to. So. Again, let's go back to our regular car. So hit Enter to finalize, Command Z, and then Command T to bring up our controls again. And this time, right click and choose Perspective. Perspective will take the top or the opposite control of whichever one you click on and move it towards the center. So it'll stretch something out like it was laid flat on a wall going away from you or coming closer. Now in your transform, if you get to a point and you go, oh, I want to undo that last little thing I did, you actually don't have to hit enter to finalize. You just hit command Z and that'll take you back. So hit enter. We're back to our regular car. Now I'm going to show you how to kind of bypass all of those steps and do this really easy. So hit Command T to pull up your transform tools and then you can use a couple of shortcuts instead of having to right click and choose what you want to do. If you hold down Command and grab a corner, it gives you those skew and distort kind of built in together. It's really great. You can also hold down Option to see what that does in conjunction. Option will make the kitty corner corner move with you as well. And if you hold down shift, so you've got command, option, and shift, it'll turn it into perspective. So command, option, and shift do some really cool things while you're transforming. At any point, you can um, transform out from the center by holding down option and clicking on a corner, which will actually scale it from the center or from wherever the center point is set. You can set your center point by clicking and dragging it or setting option and clicking. So now if I transform down, you can see it's kind of shrinking around that center point. Now hit enter to finalize and then command Z to go back to your regular car.